Japan on Tuesday condemned North Korea's firing of an intermediate-range ballistic missile over the country for the first time in five years, which forced Japanese authorities to issue evacuation notices and suspend trains. Speaking to reporters, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida says the firing, which followed a recent series of launches by North Korea, is a reckless act, and he strongly condemned it, and he would convene the National Security Council to discuss the situation. Meanwhile, Japan's chief cabinet secretary, Hirokazu Matsuno, called the North Korea series of missile launches a serious provocation, threatening the peace and safety of Japan, the region, and the international community, criticizing the launch in the strongest terms. He says Japan's self-defense force was aware of the missile from the moment of its launch, but did not take action to destroy it as it was not expected to land and cause damage in Japanese territory. The launch is the fifth round of weapons tests by North Korea in the past 10 days in what was seen as an apparent response to bilateral military drills between South Korea and the United States and other training by allies, including Japan, last week. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei responded publicly on Monday to the biggest protests in Iran in years, breaking weeks of silence to condemn what he called rioting and accused the U.S. and Israel of planning the protests. Khamenei says he was heartbroken by the death of the 22-year-old Masa Amini in the custody of Iran's morality police, which set off the nationwide protests. However, he sharply condemned the protests as a foreign plot to destabilize Iran, echoing authorities' previous comments. He described scenes of protesters ripping off their state-mandated headscarves and setting fire to mosques, banks and police cars as not normal and unnatural. His comments come as nationwide protests sparked by Amini's death entered a third week, despite the government's efforts to crack down. Iran State TV has reported the death toll from violent clashes between protesters and the security force officers could be as high as 41 without providing any more details.